Hello everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and this is our daily card reading for April 21st, 2020. So today we have Gaia. Now many people will look at this card and say, oh Gaia needs to heal. Gaia is healing. Gaia is trying to get our attention. Gaia is even shutting down meat packing plants so that we don't eat animals. Uh, people will automatically go to that, but that is keeping the message very much on the surface. This has to do with our full integrative selves that have come from the earth to live out. If you want to see it as an experiment, I don't know, <laughs> or maybe it's just living out this human experience. We're starting or being asked to start to understand what that really means. When we harm the earth, we're harming ourselves. And then people can't believe it when there are earthquakes and fires and hurricanes and blizzards and, you know, tsunamis and, you know, all these things. They can't believe it. This is the time, guys. This is the time. And, well, I think this is earth changes coming. Again, we could make that not happen by changing our consciousness. Uh, you guys know I am always very, very straight and real with you. It's not looking good. The narcissist, I keep kind of broadly saying narcissist, but it's important to talk about it. It's part of the uh, conditioning. We've gotten brainwashed to think that that's normal. It is not. It is not normal for one group of people in one certain profession. And I'm not talking about doctors and nurses, so don't start. <laughs> I'm not talking about doctors and nurses, but I'm talking about people who are non-essential workers who get to collect unemployment, at least here in the U.S., sitting back and go, oh, pray for us. We can't make money right now. Uh, most of us aren't making money right now. And if you watch, just, you know, you can pick any kind of non-essential group that is, you know, asking for the prayers, which is all good. I mean, you can ask for prayers. But what I'm getting at here is that they collectively are thinking, maybe, that they are suffering more than anybody else. That's the point. But you can look at this and wake up from your own conditioning and start recognizing it and not be an enabler. The Gaia card talks about what are the human ills. Watch how people laugh at things to diminish. Watch how people quickly will escalate a situation. We're not handling this very well. So if you want to stay on the surface, um, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> right? Because it's not time for that anymore. It's about what makes us human. What have we been conditioned by? How do we function on this planet? How do we interact with the soul of Gaia? What do we reject about ourselves? And that's the thing. When we do not allow ourselves to be in a place of peace. I, I just got off of the live chat uh, for the weekly April, was it April 20th video? And someone said, oh, just send the narcissist love. That's what they need. Be careful with that. That's part of the brainwashing. That's part of the conditioning. Of course, they want you to just send love their way. And to keep sending love and keep sending love and keep sending love. What about people who have been abused? It's a very toxic message when you say, let's care for the narcissist. And why do we say that? Because we've been conditioned to think that if you're spiritual, you just send love to everybody. And that's not untrue. Of course you do. In your prayers, send love to everybody. Nothing wrong with that. But it's when we take things public and we start saying these things, we start throwing our support in a certain direction. That's where the damage starts to occur. The message for today, and will probably be a continuous message. Again, it's messy. And people don't like hearing it, but too bad. I've got a job to do, and I'm going to do it. <laughs> and that's all there is to it. If it's uncomfortable, look at why it's uncomfortable. If you get angry, look at why you get angry. And if you just want to fight, that's the civil war. It's coming. It's here already. It's already starting between politics, between, you know, people saying it's my way to the highway, self-righteousness. And then, speaking of abused people, they're starting to find their voices. And now, 
they want what they've always been missing. And they're going to go back and collect it up. That's going to cause some anger. We need to be careful. But we need to have our eyes open. Awakening doesn't mean, oh, I get in touch with my soul and then that puts me above everybody else. Awakening is looking at the destruction around you. Facing the tough stuff. Processing it. And then vowing to make different choices. We'll continue on, but strengthen your connection to your physical body and your place in this world. I'm sending you all so much love and take care. Bye-bye.